Hello everyone, I'm back again. I'm going to show you how to set up a DNS for an internal network for a domain and to set up IIS bindings for your sites. So first off, I'm going to go and just, for those that haven't installed a DNS, you can go to add under the server manager, follow the steps, it's like the right server that you're going to be on. In this case, I'm on the same server, so make sure you have DNS checked. As you notice, I already have it checked, so I don't have to worry about it. And then I'll ask you a few questions. Once you have that installed, depending, it might need you to reboot. Most likely not. But anyway, so next you'll have the DNS manager. To open up the DNS manager, on the server manager on the left side, you should actually get access to the server. And it should, get, it should pop up on the left side for you. Other way of accessing it, you can go to DNS, uh, go into tools, select all servers or local server, DNS, and it'll pop up the DNS manager too. So while in the DNS manager, um, your settings are going to be changed in your network. So that means your DNS resolve needs to make sure it's resolving. So under your network config, doo -doo -doo, your IP version 4 in this case, since I'm not using IP version 6, your DNS defer, uh, preferred should be actually be 127.0.0.1. That's referring back to yourself, and they'll be using the DNS serv service that you just installed. On the DNS service, we need to do and set up a forward lookup. So inside the DNS manager, right click the server, click properties. We're going to go to forwarders. In my case, I set in Google. You can set in whichever ones that you know are public and accessible and will have all your res resolutions for you. Um, if you need fast response, probably go with your ISPs provided. After you do that, we're going to go over to forward lookup and create a zone. In my case, I'm going to create a website. Actually, I'm going to use my website in this case. This will stop me from being able to access my website. So try to choose a domain that's not accessible or that's not a live website that you need to be having access to. So let me show you the IP real quick. So if I currently, right now, ping gmscripts.org, I get a 69. So if I create the sound here, let me create my file. And I'm not worried about that. All right. So now I have GM scripts. So I'm going to make an A record here for it. I'm going to set it as a parent so it automatically goes to itself. And then the IP of the server. Okay, by me doing that, I need to flush my DNS here. Ah, bad me. So as you notice now, my IP has changed. I had a flush DNS since it still had the old resolve in there. That's the basics of doing that. If you would like to add subdomains, you can always add a C name reference or an A name, depending. So say if I wanted to make a subname, we're going to go mysql.gmscripts.org, IP address, same one as parent. So I'm going to successfully create that. I'm going to click done here. So as you notice, we have a parent, and then we have a MySQL reference. That means if I ping MySQL scripts.org, should get the same resolve. So that's the basic, simple setup for your DNS manager. Please remember, if you did not have forwards in, you wouldn't be able to get a resolve in the outside world. Okay. Next thing I'm going to show you is how to use the DNS manager to coincide with your bindings on your IIS server. So currently I can access my server from anywhere. I'm going to do this from my local machine here. So you notice I set in the IP, my SQL, I get this website. Works perfectly fine. This is caused because we have an unlocked binding. That means it accepts anything. When you have the ISS manager open, which if you don't know how to open that, same way on click a local server or click an ISS. Click tools. You can open up. After I find it here, guys, sorry, a little bit lost, so I'm trying to find that. You can click that, and it'll open up the ISS tool for you. Now, back to this. Um, underneath your sites on the server, here, there's a default website, which if you have disabled, it might not matter. You can click on any site. I'm going to go with the default here because I have a catch-all. It has edit bindings after you right-click it. Now, as you notice, when I mean default of all, that means it accepts it all right here, and there's no default host name. Now, if I set a host name in here... 
I'm going to go gmscripts.org. Click OK, click Close. Now locally, I don't have my resolve going to my internal server at the moment. So if I type in gmscripts.org, I get that instead of the following. Say I get an error, that means there's no resolving. I removed the auto bind for everything and made it specific to a website. Now you can always have it auto bind to all. Let me click edit here real quick for you. Okay, right. so we can always keep that and always add a resolve name to it. Another option within binding is that you can assign it to an IP address. So say if you have multiple IPs inside your network and you only want a certain IP to be able to have access to it or resolve for it, this is the best way to go. As you notice right here, this is one of my internals or external numbers that I used to have. This would be only allowing it if it was trying to send to that IP. So this would not work if you are behind a NAT, just a heads up on that. Now another option in here, just to show you guys, there's the type HTTPS, which will require a certificate. You can self-generate a certificate, which will be in a later tutorial, but right now I'm just trying to show you the options, so I'm going to cancel out of that. So now I, I set back in my catch-all, so my website should resolve, and then I set in the domain resolve. So now if I try to access this from the IP, I should get that. There's no files in my local folder, so there's nothing there. Now just to go and set up my DNS correctly here. For those, you just open up Control Panel on Windows 8. You can go Start X. As you notice down here, you have Disk Management, Network Connections. Network Connections will auto bring you to this window. As you notice, it popped up in my other, which you can always go here and edit the config. For those on Windows 7 and earlier, you can click Start. In my case, I can't show you that, but Start Control Panel. Control Panel would lead you here. If you might be in this view, you can go there too, but I'm going to stick in the category. It's a little bit simpler. Anyways, you're going to go to Network and Internet, uh, Network and Sharing Center. As you notice, I have only one connection, so I'm going to click that. And now all my windows keep on opening the other, <laughs> other screen, so you guys don't see it pop up. But anyways, so I'm going to change my DNS resolve. So, okay. If needed, you can leave in a secondary in case that server ever goes down. But in my case, it doesn't shouldn't matter. But I'm going to remove it just to show you guys. So if I click close, just have to wait for it to change the configs here. Let me open up. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay, let me open up CMD here. Okay, so currently if I try ping in gmscripts.org, as you notice, it gave me a different website. Now it's auto-resolving since I changed DNS and it had to flush it. Sometimes if it didn't, you need to type in IP config flush DNS. This will help you resolve if there's any issues. Also rebooting the computer can work, but if possible, just use the CMD command. You can also run that command in PowerShell. Okay. So now if I try to go to gmscripts.org, as you notice, my browser is catched. <laughs> Let me open up another browser here for you guys. Take me a few seconds here. There we go. If needed, you might have to go to another browser or you might have to clear your catch. In this case, I just went to a different browser since I have multiple. So I have gmscripts.org. Now if I go to MySQL, you'll get back to that first page that you saw on my computer. Now, just to show you the effect of the binding, I'm going to go right here and edit bindings here. I'm going to click remove. So that means it accept all on all. Actually, let me remove that too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a different website, cisco.com. Or actually, I'll show you the better way of doing this. So instead of actually changing the binding, we're just going to go here, default website. We're going to go... We're going to stop the default website here. 
I'm going to go here, Edit Binding. So this is to my MySQL website. So I'm going to click Edit here. We're going to change this to gmscripts.org. So before it was, I had to type forward slash MySQL, which just to show you the subfolders on how they're set up, which I can't even click. Ha ha ha. So we're going to explore. So as you notice, this is the default folder. This is where I was going first. Nothing's there. I had to type forward slash MySQL to get into this folder. So just to show you how where that's at. This site right here is linked to that MySQL folder that I just had open for you. But anyway, so if I go back to GMScript and I try to refreshing this, I get nothing. Because there's no folder under that site that I just connected to. I keep on getting a blank page. Just to so you guys know, I have JavaScript in all add-ons disabled automatically. This is just a security risk that some people might find as a nice thing to have. But just so you guys know, the pages aren't loading wrong if they do show up wrong on my on my view. Anyway, so as you notice, that's the quick way of binding, doing a DNS resolve and setting up an internal network. Um, I believe in my next tutorial I'm going to actually have SSL or setting up a temporary SSL and showing you how to do that through the ISS manager. Thank you very much and have a good time. See you next time.